Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I want to show you how to use hydrogen peroxide. This is a 3% solution. You can get this at your drugstore, grocery store, and the pharmacy aisle, but you want 3%. You can get 35% food grade hydrogen peroxide. It's just not needed. That's up to you. There's nothing toxic in here. There's nothing problematic in here. It can be used on open cuts. You can use, as a, use it as an oral rinse. So you just want the plain old 3% hydrogen peroxide. We're going to use this today to take care of our seed starts. We're going to help them germinate more quickly. We're going to manage fungus gnats. We're going to try and prevent fungus gnats, hopefully. hopefully. And then I'll show you how you can use this to take care of potential mold and fungus problems that show up in your garden. Well, in this case, that show up in your indoor seed starts. The ratios that I use here are different than I use outdoors. Inside, I use a higher concentration of hydrogen peroxide to water than other people suggest. I found that this is effective. It works. You can reduce the amount of H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide you're using if you want, but I want to give you the numbers that I use typically um, indoors for my seed starts. This is going to be based on ratios or equal parts, and I've broken this down into three parts here well three sections so the first thing we're going to start with a soil drench we're going to put the hydrogen peroxide and water into the seed starts i'll explain that in a second this is what i use when i first seed my flats so i've already put in my lettuces in here my cool weather crops and now i'm going to show you what i do for the soil drench so we're going to use four parts water one part hydrogen peroxide and this is what I recommend when you're first seeding, and this is to sterilize your soil. This is to take care of any potential fungus gnat eggs that may be in here, any kind of molds, any kind of fungus. Inside, you don't need to worry about soil life. Once these plants get outdoors, soil life is really important. Indoors, I recommend a sterile mix. So to take care of potential problems, the first thing I recommend, I have plenty of videos on this, I hydrate my seed starting mix with boiling water. And that will kill off any fungus gnat eggs, fungus mold potential, but sometimes we don't do it right. And eggs are still left in here, things still hatch. So the second level of protection that I do is this basic soil drench using a four to one ratio of hydrogen peroxide. So we'll start with the soil drench and then we'll work our way up to managing molds and funguses and what happens if you have a fungus gnat outbreak. This container will hold a gallon of water. And like I said, Here's the hydrogen peroxide, 3%. And this is the container that I use. An equal part means you fill whatever container you have to the top. So I've already put in four parts water. I filled this up four times, dumped the water in there. So that's four parts water. Well, let's get that in there. And now we're gonna do one part hydrogen peroxide. I filled this up with hydrogen peroxide. So now we have a four to one ratio. And this is what I'm gonna use for the soil drench. And just for FYI, sometimes you'll see, sometimes it's hard to tell, but let's see if we put it in the light. There's a green growth on here. That's algae. Hydrogen peroxide might help that a little bit, but algae typically grows when you don't let the tops of your soil dry. So if you let the seed starting mix the soil dry, that helps manage algae, fungus, and mold issues. It's not always possible to do, but let it dry when it gets to a light brown. Wait a day or two before you water from the bottom because moisture stays in here and that helps take care of a lot of the problems there. So I just planted these and what I do is I take this ratio. Again, this is the first time. Everything has just been set up. It's about to go into the lights. I do this once at the four to one ratio. I just bottom fill the tray to about a quarter of the way and then I just put this back in the H2O2 and the water will absorb through there the hydrogen peroxide will help clean any potential issues with molds and fungus in there it will help kill off any fungus net eggs that may be in there now the way I like to do this is I put in boiling water first when I made here we go when I originally hydrated the mix right in here. I just poured in the starting mix, boiling water. Let me put that down. Set up the trays, put in the seeds, 
And then I like to wait about two days after that passes just to give this time to dry. You don't want to do this process when your soil, your starting mix is really dark up here and fully saturated. You want it to dry out a little bit so that everything gets absorbed into there. You don't want this uh, water and H2O2 sitting in the bottom. So you have to make sure that your starting mix is a bit dry. And usually it's about two days, you know, after you set these all up. That's the setup. This is what I do to hopefully prevent fungus gnats from showing up, clean the soil, reduce the chances of molds and fungus. If everything is going well, I don't see fungus, I don't see molds, I don't see uh, fungus gnats, this is what I might do. So you do the soil drench first at seeding. You don't really have to do it again if you don't want to. There's no need to do that. Maybe you want to maintain it. So if you're going to maintain it, I don't know, maybe two weeks, three weeks after the growing, if you've had some problems or you notice some mild issues, do a soil drench at a five to one ratio. It's more water at this point. Right now, nothing has germinated. The extra oxygen from the hydrogen peroxide, the H2O2, will help your seeds germinate more quickly too. That's why I like doing this at planting, so to speak, within that first two days. Cleans the starting mix, helps speed up germination. If you want to maintain this, you know, every two or three weeks, a five to one ratio. I also make a spray. The, main t the spray that I use is six parts water one part hydrogen peroxide, and it's easier sometimes to do it in a larger container, get a funnel and fill up your spray bottle. For maintaining, I'm not really looking for problems. So let's just say it's been about a week, nothing is quite germinated yet, and I just wanna give this a quick spray with the six to one ratio, water to hydrogen peroxide, just like that. That will dry. It will also sterilize anything that may be starting on the surface. And that's just a nice way to kind of keep the molds and fungus at bay. You're preventing it. You don't see any, you give this, you know, a spray once a week, it's good to go. You can also use it right on the leaves. It's not gonna damage them. Even though I've done this a lot, I always recommend, just because you're seeing me do it, maybe for the first time, uh, maybe you even trust me, which I greatly appreciate, Always test spray. Make your ratio of your water, hydrogen peroxide. Spray the leaves, wait 48 hours, look for any damage, make sure you did it all right. So the six to one spray is just my basic routine for maintaining stuff, keeping stuff clean. Maybe I spray once a week or something like that. So let's get to the point where maybe we have a fungus gnat outbreak. We didn't uh, get lucky enough to prevent everything. We have the little black flies flying around, the fungus gnats flying around. We have fungus gnats crawling on the surface. What do you do? And this is where I make a greater concentration of the spray. This would be a four to one. I would increase it to four parts water. Well, I would decrease the water from six parts right here, six to one, to a four to one spray. That's just a little bit stronger. And I feel like when that contacts the fungus gnats or the immature fungus gnats crawling on the soil surface, it helps kill them off better. For a soil drench, at that point, if I see fungus gnats all over my flats, they're crawling on the surface, they're flying around, that means I have eggs in the soil or on the soil, I have larvae in the soil. So I make a ratio with this that's more potent. I use three parts water, one part hydrogen peroxide. I've even gone to a two to one ratio. It doesn't hurt your plants. I put straight 3% hydrogen peroxide into the soil of the plants over here yesterday and they're not damaged. You just don't need to do that. You know, by following these ratios, it helps you save money. So if you have a fungus nut outbreak and you're worried, you can do another soil drench at a three to one ratio, just like I showed you. And then you can concentrate the spray to a four to one ratio. Once things seem under control, you can go to this again, where you're sort of maintaining it. I can't give you the exact frequency of everything, but let's just say you notice you have a big fungus gnat outbreak. So you do three parts water, one part hydrogen peroxide, you soak it in. It's gonna be about anywhere from probably three to five days or five to seven days, depending on what you have growing in here, before the soil actually dries down 
and is ready to be watered. You could do it one more time at that three to one ratio just to make sure you're killing off the fungus gnats. But after that, you should be good to go. Now the goal here may not be to reduce the fungus gnats 100%, but you're really trying to kill them off, manage them down so that they do limited damage. Once these get outside and you get them into the ground or they're out in the open air, the fungus net issues tend to go away. Whatever's flying around blows away. The root systems grow past the little bit of starting mix, go into the ground, and fungus gnats just aren't an issue. But this is the main way that I recommend using hydrogen peroxide for your seed starts. It does a couple of things. It helps speed up germination when you do that initial soil drench, helps clean the soil, prevent fungus gnat molds and fungus. You can use it to maintain the surface of your soil so you don't get molds and fungus. And if you have an outbreak, you can increase the potency or the amount of H2O2 in here and hopefully kill off a lot of the fungus gnats. If I had fungus gnats flying around, we have the outbreak. I've got this ratio down to four to one and really twice a day I'm coming in, I'm spraying the surface to kill anything crawling around. I'm getting into the leaves, spraying the surface twice a day, really trying to kill off the fungus gnats. And that is a good defense using H2O2 to keep your soil sterile, keep mold in check, keep fungus in check, and hopefully keep fungus gnats dead <laughs> or in check. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com, and I will put these ratios in the video description if you want to check that out.